On testing, Secretary of State said little about testing uh, this afternoon, Mr Speaker. Back in May, he stood at the dispatch box and told this House that everyone aged five and over with symptoms is now eligible for a test. Anyone with a continuous cough, a high temperature, a, lo a loss of change in their sense of uh, uh, smell can book a test. We have, in his words, now got testing for all. Yet four months later, for the British people, it has become not so much test and trace, more like trace a test. Yeah. At, just, at just the point when many fear we are on the cusp of a second deadly spike, the Prime Minister admits we don't have enough capacity. And rather than fixing testing, the Secretary of State is restricting testing. <laughs> Infections are rising at pace, but it's not clear what the actual strategy of the government now is. It's all very well talking about camel humps and moonshots. We need a plan to fully suppress this virus. It's urgent that he fixes testing, fixes tracing, gives people isolation support to avoid further restrictions. Otherwise, we face a very bleak winter indeed. Yeah. Uh, he asks about testing, um, and of course there's uh, a challenge in testing. Um, the, 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 central point, the central point is that capacity, contrary to what he said, capacity is at record levels and has increased week on week. The challenge is that demand has gone up faster. And they can say on the other side, no, it's not. But they can't defy the facts. And the most important thing for everybody across the country to hear from all of their elected representatives, if they are interested in helping this country get through this pandemic, is that if you have symptoms, get a test. If you don't have symptoms, please do not come forward to get a test unless you're specifically asked. That is what, that is what colleagues on all sides of the House uh, need to be repeating to their constituents.